Hey, what's up guys, I'm Nizio Cole, and today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how I make my transitions. Now we're just gonna jump right into it. All of my transitions are from a guy named Orange83. I'll have his stuff linked in the description. I believe he goes through a site called Sellify where you don't actually have to pay anything, but it's appreciated. So I, I you know, I dropped him off a few dollars. But today I'm going to be showing you guys how I create my thumbnails. I will have the links to both of these presets down in the description. Once you install these presets, they'll be in a folder called orange83.com. We're going to be looking at transition pack 3 and transition pack 5. Now the first thing I do is line my playhead up in the middle of the two clips I want to transition. And then hold shift, arrow key twice on this side. Make a cut. And then do the same for the other side. And then after that, you want to highlight all of these, click nest. Okay, so now we have a nested sequence. So the order that you put these transitions in is completely up to you. I usually go glitch first and then the motion blur effect. I'll show you what I mean in a second. So we'll just grab the 10 frames glitch three. Although I usually go with the first glitch effect. This looks really nice in my opinion. And then after that, you're gonna to wanna to go and open up transition pack three. Grab any of the main presets and add it to your nested sequence. I usually go with main preset two. So it's gonna look weird for a second, but don't worry. Now, whatever transition you want, you want top to bottom, left to right, right to left, clockwise, counterclockwise, whatever transition you want, you wanna make sure you pick the one that corresponds with the main preset that we just added. So in this case, I picked two, so top to bottom, drag it here. And there you go, that's how I do my transitions. Now the possibilities with this are truly endless because you can do a whole bunch of different combinations. If you didn't like that, you can control Z and then do right to left. Then it has a different look. You can do any one of these. This is why I love doing transitions like this. And I thought I'd just make a quick little tutorial on how I make my transitions. Make sure to drop a like down below if you liked the video and suggest any more Premiere or Photoshop tutorials. And yeah, it's been Cole. Peace.